Hello! I want to quickly show you my favorite ways to do a center double decrease on a right side and wrong side row. A center double decrease takes three stitches and makes one stitch, so you're decreasing two stitches and it leaves that decrease centered so it's not leaning either to the right or the left. So I am just going to knit to my center three stitches here. And I'm on a right side right now, so I will show you how to do a center double decrease on a right side row first. I'm going to slip two stitches together knitwise. I'm going to knit the next stitch, and then I'm going to take those two stitches and slip them over. So there you go. I've got a center double decrease. I've taken three stitches, turned them into one stitch, and it's totally centered. It's not leaning to the right or the left. Now the trick I found is I was working on a pattern where I needed to do a centered double decrease on a wrong side row and I was having a very hard time figuring out how to mimic that perfectly. And I ended up finding a one or two different ways to do it, but this is the way that I came up with that was the most comfortable for me to work row after row. So I'm just purling to those center three stitches right there. And now what I do is I go with my right needle tip, I go into the second stitch on the left hand needle at the back of the work, it's actually the right side of the work, it's the back of the left hand needle, and I slip my needle into it purl wise, and then I slip off, see how I take my thumb right here and I pinch so I don't lose any stitches, I slip off those two stitches and I put the first stitch right back onto the left hand needle, so without hesitating slap it right back on there, and now I'm going to purl two together and then reaching around to the back side of the left hand needle, which is actually the front side of the work, I'm going to pick up that second stitch and slip it over there, that stitch right there. And now I'm just going to purl to the end so you can see that that series of movements perfectly mimics a center double decrease on the right side of a row. So it looks exactly the same. You're just working it on the wrong side. So there's my latest favorite way for center double decreases on the right side and wrong side row. Happy knitting!